everyone, I'm Trainer Isabel and welcome back to Young Engineers. This is lesson 8 of our 10 part series where we learn about science, technology, engineering and mathematics in a cool, fun and exciting manner. Let's start our lesson today by congratulating our friends who have won the Best Model Award for the last lesson. Good job guys! Before we begin today's lesson, let's do a quick recap. Let's assume I have two gears, a 40 tooth gear and an 8 tooth gear. I'm going to put these two gears together and I'm going to attach a motor into the 40 tooth gear. Using velocity's gear ratio, you'll know that for every one turn the 40 tooth gear makes, the 8 tooth gear will spin 5 times, thus speed increasing transmission. Now that we have recapped what we have learned, let's move on to what we have learned last lesson. In last lesson, we learned about compound gear ratio. So what is compound gear ratio? Compound gear ratio happens when you have two sets of gears, set A and set B. They are linked together using an axle, as you can see here. Well, in this case, both set A and set B's driving gear is the 24 tooth gear, the driven gear, the 8 tooth gear. As we've learned last lesson, the ratio of both sets of gears are the same, 24 divided by 8. But when you compound them, you place them together, link them through an axle, the speed of the final driven gear changes. Now, Let's take that for example. You can see that the driven gear of set A is linked to the driving gear of set B through an axle. And we are going to calculate what is the driven gear of set B, how many times has it rotated. So using the formula 3 times 3, you'll find out that the driven gear of set B will rotate 9 times. Now that we recap what is gears, what are gears, what is speed increasing transmission, what is compound gear ratio, let's move into today's class. In today's lesson, we're going back to the amusement park. After enjoying our swing chair ride, we're looking for something less scary. We're going to take something called the sky rail ride. Have you seen it before? Have you taken it before? The Skyrail ride is like a Ferris wheel ride. And it goes really nice and soothingly slow. Now, unlike the mixer that we learned last lesson, the Skyrail ride also uses gears, also uses speed of transmission. But in this case, they decide to use it for speed reducing transmission. Let's take a look at this diagram here. You can see that the drive gear this time is the 8 tooth gear, while the driven gear is the 40 tooth gear. Using gear ratio, you know that for every one turn that the drive gear makes, the large gear turns 0.2 times. This is speed reducing transmission. For it is now lesser than 1. Now let's see this effect compounded. As with last lesson, our set A gears are linked to the set B gears through an axle. In today's example, you can see that the axle intersects our set A gears at the large gear and our set B gears at the small gear. Using the formulas that you learned last lesson, the ratio of our set A gears is equivalent to the ratio of our set B gears, which is both 0 0.2. Now, we want to know what is the final speed reducing transmission on set B's large gear. And how do we do that? We take 
0.2 from set A's gears multiplied by 0.2 from set B's gears to get 0.04. Can you name me some examples of machines, appliances that uses speed reducing transmission? Well, it's a very difficult question, so here are the examples. Remember when your dad or your parent, when they drive into the car park, there is a car barricade at the entrance of the car park? Well, this mechanism uses a speed reducing transmission. Likewise, in certain car parks in Singapore, you also find a very interesting sight. There are some car parks which has a car lift. And in this car lift, they use an automated door. These automated doors use speed reducing transmission to work as well. So although these machines are slow, they are steady. Now that we have learned today's lesson, let's move on to our model. Go to building sheet. Download Skywheel Ride. Follow the steps to create your Skywheel Ride. The steps in red are enhancements. You do not need to do them if you do not have the time. Now once again before we begin, let's go through our four rules. Our first rule is Always use the parts from your own kit. Our second rule is always, always count. Our third rule is colors do not matter unless they are pins. And our fourth rule is always be prepared for class. Now that we've gone through our rules and have the building sheet, let's start building! Have you completed your models? Good job if you've done so. Right now, you can turn on the battery pack and try out your model. Observe how the gears make the model work and move. Once again, upload a video of your completed model into the assessment box in Seesaw. We'll be voting for the best model for this lesson. We come to the end of class. I hope you learned something new about gear transmission and I'll see you next lesson. Goodbye!